Hi, everyone who learns Ukrainian. Всім привіт, хто вивчає українську мову. Welcome back to the UK Arlona in this new year. This YouTube channel is just for Ukrainian learners who wants to improve listening, reading or speaking skills or just start to do it, expand Ukrainian vocabulary, learn Ukrainian grammar or get fluently in Ukrainian culture and uh, traditions. My name is Yulia and I am a teacher of Ukrainian and this year we start from the names of the seasons and months in Ukrainian context and plus a little bit grammar, the main adjective groups and how to make adverbs from nouns. Давайте починати! We are going to start from seasons. The verb season is translated into Ukrainian into two verbs. Pora, roku, in singular form, and pore, roku, in plural one. So, в Україні чотири пори року. Зима, весна, літо, осінь. Here are some examples with these words. Зараз в Україні зима. Весна моя Улюблена пора року. Літо – найкраща пора для відпочинку. Осінь – найгарніша пора року. Now it's your turn to practice your Ukrainian. Pause the video and answer the next questions. Яка зараз пора року? Start from зараз. Яка твоя улюблена пора року? Start from моя улюблена пора року. Great! Чудово! Now let's make adverbs form from nouns, seasons. In English we do it quite easily. We we'll just add preposition in. In winter, in spring, in summer, in fall. In Ukrainian it's a little bit confused because we need to add the prefix and change the endings. Let's see. Zima – vzimku. Vesna – na vesni. Lito – vlitku. Осінь – восени. We use these adverbs when we want to answer the question with the question word when or коли. Here are some examples. Коли у тебе день народження? У мене день народження на весні. Коли у тебе Відпустка. У мене відпустка взимку і влітку. Коли ти любиш подорожувати? Я люблю подорожувати восени. Now it's your turn to practice your Ukrainian. Pause the video and answer the next questions. Коли у тебе день народження. Коли у тебе відпустка? Коли ти любиш подорожувати? Good job. Now it's time to talk about the names of months in Ukrainian. They are 12 like in anywhere. But 
One thing you have to remember. Misset, it's a singular noun. Misetsi, plural form. Let's start from the movie. Misetsi. Gruden. Sitchen. Luty. Vesniani. Misetsi. Berezen. Kvitin. Traven. Litni. Misetsi. Červen, lipen, serpen, and osinni misetsi. Versen, žovten, listopad. So, what is your favorite month? Jaki tvi ulubljene misec? Mi ulubony misec berezen. A tvi? Here is one grammar rule according to the Ukrainian adjectives which is so important. So here in Ukrainian there are two adjective groups. The first one is hard adjective group. The second one is soft adjective group. It depends on the last consonant before endings. Is it hard or soft consonant? Let's see. The movie misetsi. The movie odiach. The movie pohoda. The movie sonce. So the adjective the movie has the ending e because misetsi plural. The movie has the ending u because odia is masculine. The mova has the ending a because pohoda is feminine. And the mova has the ending a because sonce is neuter. They are all have the same hard consonant v before the ending. E, u, a, a. The next similar adjectives from this group. Let's see. Vesniani misetsi. Vesniani nastri. Vesniana kartina. Vesniane pole. All these adjectives have the last consonant before the endings e, u, a, and a. N. The hard n. So, what about the next examples? Let's see. Litni. Misetsi. Litni ranok. Litnia suknia. Litnia rivnodenia. They have a little bit different endings like i, ja, je. The answer is they are from different soft adjective group. Here's very similar. Osinni misetsi. Osinni den. Osinnia fotosessia. Osinnia nebo. So, for soft adjective group, we have the different Endings. For plural, they have the same e. For masculine, they have e. For feminine, ya. And for muter, ye. I hope this video 
was helpful for you and you can find more practice exercises about months and seasons in Ukrainian and how to make adjectives and adverbs in my free PDF worksheet. The link is in the description below, so download it and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So don't wait to start speak Ukrainian naturally and easily today. Дякую за перегляд. Бувай!